Of all the franchises out there, Subways are genuinely one of the worst ones to open, especially how Subway is very different from other franchises. Like for example, if you open Chick-fil-A, like the starting fee is very low, but they want your store to do really good because they're gonna be taking a massive cut every month. Same thing with Domino's and Papa John's. The franchise prices aren't really that high. Maybe like a hundred to a two hundred thousand dollars is kind of like how much you need. And also McDonald's is like half a million to a million dollars. But Subways are one of the cheapest franchises, but also one of the worst because they're really just not that popular with the general public. Food quality is questionable on several restaurants. And then lastly, Subway makes a large chunk of the revenue from just opening the franchise fees. So Subways, at the end of the day, they suck. Many Subways are closing, especially in Northern California. Subways are now closing at a record pace without warning. And even the top dog of Subway is coming out saying that California's minimum wage law, the $20 minimum wage, could be shrinking the Subway chain to the smallest size in decades. Subway's already doing pretty bad nationwide. They're not exactly the most popular fast food place, so they're already shrinking. Like Subway shrunk its sandwich chain in the U.S. by 443 stores last year. This is a pretty big downsize. Now, we also got the $20 minimum wage, which is gonna slap Subway really hard in the face because for a lot of these fast food restaurants, especially Subway, a good one third of the restaurant's expense is labor alone. And when labor suddenly increases to 25 to 30% in less than 12 months, stores are gonna close. In 2023, Subway closed 733 stores. And then we also have the CEO coming out saying that he anticipates Subway will be closing between 300 to 400 US stores while only adding about 200 to 300 locations, a net loss of only 100 stores. They're gonna be trading the water in the US at best, but now with the inflation of the $20 minimum wage, Subways are closing at an even faster pace, especially in the California area. At the current moment, many of the left-leaning cities are thinking about implementing a $20 minimum wage from Seattle to Chicago to New York City. This could be happening and many more of these fast food stores will be closing down. Just remember, Subways are not the best food chain out there. In fact, they are starving for money. How many times have you seen a McDonald's shut down or a Papa John's shut down? It's kind of rare, right? But I do see Subway shut down and it's a pretty common thing. California's minimum wage hike is also blamed for a fossil free store just straight up closing. Now, workers who used to work this says that they'd rather have the old wage back because now they don't have a job. And California's unemployment rate, even before the implementation of the minimum wage in, on April 1st, was like 5.23%. It's so high. Florida, on the other hand, is 3.2% and could get below 3 Now, California, at the end of the year, some people say their unemployment rate could be hitting roughly 7 to 8% because of numerous different layoffs from tech to finance. But now, even the fast food workers are no longer getting jobs. Pizza workers are all fired off for gig workers, door like DoorDash and Uber Eats. We're gonna be seeing more of these chain stores. It's not just gonna be a Foster Freeze, the Subways, but even McDonald's, Taco Bell, and even the big titans of the fast food industry. Look at this, California restaurant owner fears $20 wage hike will be putting them out of business, increase prices, or just close down. He doesn't wanna increase prices at all. The higher you increase prices, the less likely people are going to eat there. Especially now in California, companies like HelloFresh, where they sent goods and supplies to a house to cook at home, it's only extremely popular. Even Chili's and Applebee's are getting more popular because they're not obligated to pay $20 because they're not considered fast food. And Chili's and Applebee's are taking a massive market share of the fast food industry in California. And right now, after hustling to keep his doors open throughout the pandemic, an LA restaurant owner is speaking out that the state's $20 minimum wage could be the final straw that puts him and his employees out of business. Now, some people may say, why not just automates? Well, you gotta know that automation is a very expensive thing. You're spending over six figures just to buy robots. These things aren't exactly cheap. Many of these small mom and pop stores and even some of the fast food restaurants just wanna hire human workers. But when you put them in such a tough scenario, having $20 minimum wage, it's just really hard on the business owner. I mean, look at what's going on in a place like Seattle, where they did a $26 minimum wage for gig drivers like Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. Three plates of Thai food is a $122 delivery. 
a single coffee is $26, and that's not even including the tip. Many of these laws of minimum wage are just simply backfiring. Let's see what happens next to a lot of these cities.